Okay, so next we'll prove a theorem. A relation R on a set X is asymmetric if and only if it is anti-symmetric and irreflexive so proof let R be an asymmetric relation on a set X. Notice that asymmetry satisfies the definition of anti-symmetry vacuously since it is never true that the ordered pair xy is in the relation and the ordered pair yx is in the relation in an asymmetric relation hence the relation R is anti-symmetric now we need to show the relation R is irreflexive so assume to the contrary that there exists an element X in the set X such that the ordered pair X X is in the relation then, as the relation R is asymmetric, the ordered pair Y equals X, X is not in the relation. That is, when we change the ordinates, or exchange the uh, coordinates, rather, uh, for the ordered pair X, X, then that ordered pair is not in the relation, but this ordered pair is still the ordered pair x, x, and hence by contradiction. The relation R is irreflexive. So conversely, suppose that the relation R is anti-symmetric and irreflexive as the relation R is anti-symmetric The ordered pair XY is in the relation and the ordered pair YX is in the relation only when X and Y are the same element. And as the relation R is irreflexive, the ordered pair XX is never in the relation. And thus, if the ordered pair, xy, is in the relation, 
then the ordered pair yx is not in the relation, and hence the relation R is asymmetric. So asymmetry means anti-symmetry and irreflexive. Now the converse, or rather the contrapositive, of the previous theorem is also true. That is, if a relation R on a set X is either not anti-symmetric or not irreflexive, then it is not asymmetric in particular a reflexive relation is not asymmetric, but it can be anti-symmetric Okay, so new definition, a relation R on a set X is transitive if and only if for any three elements X, Y, and Z in the set X if the ordered pair xy is in the relation and the ordered pair yz is in the relation, then the ordered pair xz is in the relation. That is a relation R on a set x is transitive if and only if for any three elements x, y, and z in the relation R, oops, in the set x, if x is related to y and y is related to z, then x is related to z. So next we'll prove a corollary of the previous theorem. A transitive relation is asymmetric if and only if it is irreflexive. proof. Let R be a relation on a set X that is transitive and asymmetric. Then, by the previous theorem, the relation R is irreflexive 
since it is asymmetric. So conversely, suppose that the relation R is transitive. and irreflexive. And let the ordered pair xy be in the relation. Now we need to show that the relation R is asymmetric so assume to the contrary that the ordered pair yx is in the relation Then, as the relation R is transitive, the ordered pair XX is in the relation since the ordered pair XY is in the relation and the ordered pair YX is in the relation. This contradicts the fact that the relation R is irreflexive. And hence, by contradiction, the relation R is asymmetric. OK, so new definition. Let R be a relation on a set X, and let X and Y be any two elements in the set X. The elements X and Y are comparable. if and only if either the ordered pair xy is in the relation or the ordered pair yx is in the relation. That is, the elements x and y are comparable. if and only if either x is related to y or y is related to x if the elements x and y are not comparable they are said to be incomparable. So new definition. Let R be a relation. on a set X if every pair of distinct elements
of the set X are comparable. Then the relation R is a total ordering on the set X. That is, the relation R is a total ordering on the set X if and only if for every two elements X and Y in the set X where X is not equal to Y either X is related to Y or Y is related to X and if at least one pair of not necessarily distinct elements of the set X are comparable then the relation R is a partial ordering on the set X. That is, the relation R is a partial ordering on the set X if and only if there exist elements X and Y in the set X not necessarily distinct such that either X is related to Y or Y is related to X So notice that any non-empty relation R on a set X is necessarily a partial ordering on the set X since an ordered pair or there exists an ordered pair XY in the relation R that is X is related to Y notice also that every total ordering on the set X is also a partial ordering on the set X but not every partial ordering is a total ordering Further, a total ordering can be ear reflexive since it is required only that distinct elements be comparable 